plumes popping up in multiple bodies of water across Long Island. Fox 5's Jody Goldberg explains what's causing this and how it's affecting fish and other animals. The bays, lakes, and ponds here on Long Island aren't as clean and clear as they need to be. This according to an annual assessment of water quality report. We had a record number of dead zones in 2024 with oxygen levels of less than 3 milligrams per liter. Ideally, our coastal water bodies will have 4.8 milligrams of oxygen per liter. The cause, according to coastal ecologist Dr. Christopher Gobler, excess nitrogen that seeps into the water from outdated septic systems and fertilizers. In turn, it promotes algae and algal blooms. These are harmful because these bluegrain algae make biotoxins. Those biotoxins can be consumed by organisms in the pond and more commonly here in Long Island has been dogs going into these water bodies, drinking that water and getting sick. And it's not only dogs that are impacted. Fish are dying by the dozen. Environmentalists question whether climate change is a factor. Record high temperatures cause lower levels of oxygen in the water. Another symptom of climate change are changing rainfall patterns. The Northeast U.S. is now experiencing a 71% increase and the number of these intense rainfall events. What it means is that we need to treat our sewage here in the year 2024. Suffolk County residents can vote on Proposition 2, which would fund expanded sewers and grants to homeowners for nitrogen removing septic systems by raising the sales tax about a tenth of a percent. Now, the fund is expected to raise nearly $3 billion over the next 50 years. We have to start somewhere. Recreational fishermen are noticing the change in the number of fish out there. This year was worse than last year and last year was worse than the year before. But there is hope, according to researchers who say improvements in the wastewater treatment systems in the city help nitrogen levels in the sound. On Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.